So I want to do a video on how to ride this hoverboard. This is probably many years late because it's not uh, not popular anymore. I don't know if it, but I see too many. I don't really find a good how to online. It mostly just kids jump on it, and it seems they are fine riding it. But I hear some adults try it and they get injured, so hopefully this will help prevent that. So here's how I think I want to break it down. So you want to find a... Oh, can I see it? You want to find a place where you can rest your... Let's do this. You want to find a safe place that you can rest your weight on here. And I think I want to start with not powering the hoverboard on. So you you feel how it's like. I know it's kind of not make sense. Reason is the moment you step on this thing, you want your feet to be flat. Cause how the how this works is when you tilt your feet forward, this side of the wheel go forward. When you tilt back, it goes back. I mean, common sense, right? But when the first time you step on, many too many things is happening. You try to balance yourself. At the same time, you are not aware of if your feet is flat. So the hoverboard is running away from you while you try to balance yourself. So that usually means not good disaster. So it's up to you, but your center of weight is probably here. Maybe if you want to ride fast, maybe you would position more here so you are comfortable leaning forward. I mostly ride slowly, so. So this will help you find that sweet spot where your feet is flat and you are neutral, so. And what the hoverboard off, it's not running away from you or doing anything crazy so you can control. It is still kind of dangerous. I don't know. The wheel has a little resistance so it's not really going to roll far. So right now um, my center of grab my feet is flat and my center of weight is on the board and oh right and I can feel how my feet tilting so both feet tilt boards is going forward backward and then turning is you will get a hang of it once you able to balance on the hoverboard. So, yeah, and you don't want to, I don't know if beginner do this, but I may do this. When I'm not comfortable with the position here, don't try to change your position while you're standing on it, because like I said, any tilt will send the power bar rolling. So you want to step off and position, readjust whether you want to go for, step a little forward or a little backward. So don't move, don't do drastic movements while you're on it without your intention to doing so. Otherwise, it will just move away. So I think the 
the worst instruction is to tell somebody to step it on and hopefully they they know what hopefully they don't injure themselves so yeah uh, what else I can so you see the amount of movement for my feet to chill to do a turn is very little so same as what I was saying if if you are trying to move your feet like you are on a skateboard or anything else it will quickly move away or maybe i should show an example of how people will step on so say you step on it but your feet is not flat so look see it's my foot is a little bit this way so it's trying to roll away from you so that's really not confident for beginner because they feel it's they try to stand on it but the board is moving away from them right so that's why two things has to happen first you want to when you step on your weight has to be center and your feet has to be flat to numb that's why you want to have something to balance yourself I mean once you get experience you can just step on but I guess some reason kids don't need that somehow they just step on and go and that's what most people think you just step on and go so if you don't know how to ride it, you may be dangerous. <laughs>